What's up guys, The Lost One Gaming here and welcome to Government Simulator, which as the name of the game states, is a government simulator where you get to, as this says, rule a country with all the consequences. Uh, the consequences part I'm not too sure about. But this is the second, I guess, political based game that I've had on my channel, the first being Whip the Vote. And as a precursor, much like I, I think I did with that one, I hope that no one is offended by any, like, thing that I may say that may be political based. I hope that, uh, at the very least, even if you don't agree with some of the decisions that I make, that you can watch it and just it be in good fun as a series and as a commentary. This is kind of like Democracy 3 or the Democracy series. I think the last one was like Democracy 3 Africa or something like that. Uh, except it's, a, I think it's a little bit more limited, but let's just, let's just start, okay? Start a new game, this will end the current game. My current game was a United States playthrough. Uh, normally, I wouldn't start with a country like the United States. I'm sorry, I have to switch my earbuds over. Because <laughs> I can't hear. Or, I'm sorry, I, I can't hear myself. But, uh, normally I wouldn't start off with a country like the United States because it's, it's supposedly the easiest to do. Uh, well, not the easiest, I guess. Switzerland's very easy. But, uh... This being a government simulator, I just kind of want to see if I could fix the United States issues. Probably not, but it's worth a try, right? I'll also up it to difficult just because it says it's easy. So, the United States has a population of 321 million people, a GDP of 18 point something, 18 and a half billion, spending 3.9 billion, our debt is 71%. So our biggest issue is the debt to GDP ratio and crime. Right, so... Let's jump into this, shall we? Congratulations, you have won elections. I'm sorry, I didn't see the the. You have won the elections. The elections, just randomly? From now on, you have full control over this country for a whole legislative period, the United States. If you do your work well, and consequently, and your approval rating is good, you might even be re-elected. Well, I hope I get re-elected. There's also a tutorial here. I don't really bother to look at this too much, but I kind of left it on, so here it is. This is the overview screen. You have an overview of the whole country here. See the next quarter button? You can click this to move the next quarter and to start the simulation. Alright, implement AI. I already kind of know all this, so I'll just kind of leave it. Alright. So. Now there's a certain... There's goals to end this campaign, right? Alright, can I call it a campaign? I guess. So the goal. Debt to GDP ratio of less than 60%. Crime rate of less than 800. Unemployment rate of less than 4%. Environmental destruction, less than 15%. Public health, at least 80% or 80 points. Um, now, I'm going to add an extra goal that I may or may not get to. And if I do, it may take a long time. But I want to completely erase the national debt, which currently sits at $13.1 billion. What? No, actually, is there a debt like trillions of dollars in real life? I think that's maybe what this means. And yeah, it's like, ugh, frick, I don't have a debt clock. <laughs> I probably should have one. Maybe I shouldn't. Uh, but it's like th trillions of dollars right now. So I want to get rid of it. It's probably going to take a long time. But if you're going to balance a debt or balance a budget, of course, you have to look at your spending, your overall spending. So right now, here we are. We are spending 191 million, I mean, sorry, billion dollars on defense. 530 billion dollars on social security uh, 124 billion dollars on transport 79 billion dollars on education uh, 70 billion dollars on medical 40 billion dollars on care 32 billion dollars on waste supply 31 on energy 28 on communication 27 on security finance blah 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 all right you can read the rest of that it's there so i think that in this game and is the case probably in real life the United States spends a lot of money on its military, <laughs> okay? That's just the way it is. We spend a lot of money on our military. And in some cases, maybe it's not really necessary anymore. Especially in this game where there really is no danger of us going to war with really anybody. Um, of course, in real life, you kind of have the North Korea situation and these two issues right here as what we have. But in this game... There's no point in me staying in Afghanistan. There's no point in me even supporting the rebels or doing airstrikes in Syria because 
none of the real life scenarios are really in this game you know there isn't oh go to syria to stop chemical weapons being used on people or you know whatever to help in the civil war uh in afghanistan we really don't have any real incentive to stay in here either i mean in real life of course we're kind of stuck in some of these wars i guess because we went over there and so now we have to find a solution and if you don't you have a power vacuum i guess which is pretty much how isis was created so yeah i in real life eh but in this game forget it i don't have any real reason to stay in afghanistan i'm out all right that used 20 points so i can't do anything for this quarter <laughs> rip also it's 2018 just thought i'd point that out it's 2018 um what the frick happened because this is not an election year next year is i mean think there's a like a senate election or something but this is not a presidential election quarter or year so what the frick happened did we just randomly start a coup and just take over the country i'm concerned now anyway since there's nothing else that i can do for this quarter let's just end it all right so yeah i i haven't done anything to solve the deficit yet because i literally had to use all my points on getting out of uh afghanistan so shadow economy is going up education is going down my approval rating is going down to 46 percent i guess maybe because we left afghanistan and because of crime so now Let's take our first actions to, I think, try and stem the, I guess, our, our, our bleeding. <laughs> so, I guess in a reversal of what's going on in real life, I think I'm going to increase the corporate tax rate. I think we'll move it to 40%, or no, we'll, we're going to increase it to 45%. Which is a 28% increase. God, that's horrible, isn't it? Um, yeah. I think that should help us a good bit in terms of our income. I'm also going to, if I can... I don't know if I have enough points for this. I'm going to increase the alcohol tax. I didn't even know there was an alcohol tax. I forgot about that. Alcohol tax to 20%. That would also help our health situation. You know, the goal of taxes like this, I guess, is... And of course, our tax with tobacco is 75 the goal with taxes like that is to pretty much kind of discourage people from, you know, using alcohol or tobacco. Because, hey, if we increase the taxes and the prices on it so much, maybe people won't want to spend it. In some cases, it works. Other cases, it doesn't. If you're addicted to it, hey, it doesn't matter how much it costs, you're going to go get it. But, hey, we can try, right? So, that was our first two actions taken in this quarter to try and... Okay, wait, also, the defense spending... So right now we're spending 191 billion dollars on defense. I'm going to probably drop that by I think we're gonna get up to that's too much. Okay. Uh we're gonna drop that to 180. No no no. 175 is really what I'm looking for. Yeah. 175 billion dollars. So we're now dropping our defense spending in total. So yeah, there we go. So let's see now, after this turn, what is going to happen? I don't know, it's, it's April now, so here we go. So running simulation, everything, everything, simulated, good. <laughs> I don't know what's happening though. Would you re-elect the government? Yes, no, 41%, I mean, come on, give me a break. I can't really do much in these quarters, okay? Just, just hold on. If you, if you just let me do what I do, okay just let me let me fix this okay i will fix this trust me just give me some time <laughs> need a little bit more time so one thing that i also want to do is since we're, we're since we do have the crime issue going on i think we definitely need to put some more money into our security so let's increase that we're gonna do an increased spending of what's that 36 billion i think we're gonna do the max that we can. I guess I can't really move it that. Eh. Okay, 37 billion. Increase for security to try and fight crime. Now, also, I think we should increase the minimum wage in this game, but I can't really do it right now, so we're kind of stuck. Uh, so it's stuck at 725. By the end of this series, I at least want to see the minimum wage. I can't talk. 
at least want to see the minimum wage raised to like ten dollars i think uh, i know a lot of people probably won't agree with that but i just want to see it at 10 something like that i think 10 is good i mean to be honest but here we go notable headlines good news life expectancy is getting better cool my approval rating is not getting better <laughs> it's getting worse yeah so now our deficit is 92 billion dollars all right so right now my my strategy is oh i forgot to withdraw out of syria we're kind of still in there for no real reason whatsoever uh I, that's gonna take 20 points i got other things to worry about right now so what i want to do is i want a new law we're gonna try and stimulate some form of economic growth in some way shape or form so here we go why the heck is there a cash ban Prohibits the use of cash. Instead, purchases are made with cashless via credit cards, transfers, and the like. This is intended to make money transactions more comprehensible, making corruption and black economy impossible. How does that... How does that work? <laughs> that one kind of confused me for a second. I, I... Like, don't... Wasn't there, like, a whole thing about, like, drug people using, like, Bitcoin? Not... It wasn't, maybe it wasn't Bitcoin. It was, like, cryptocurrency. Something weird. I thought it was something like that, but anyway. Small business subsidies, alright? We're gonna try and grow from the ground up, alright? I may have increased the corporate tax rate, but I'm gonna also try and do a small business subsidy. We'll do 7%, I think, and of course we'll increase that over time. I think that will work out quite well. So let's do that. That will use 10 implementation points. Alright, now I still can't do my minimum wage thing. Frick. Well, it'll have to wait till next turn then. All right. Good lord. Let's check to see what our debt is. Thirteen point eight billion. So it start. Well, that's two thousand eighteen. We started. We started in two thousand eighteen. What was it? January. Why is January not in here? It was like there. It was, it was like this. Thirteen point one three or something like that. So it's it's increased a good bit <laughs> already in the less than a year that we've been in office. But hey, you know. We'll try. So, next quarter. I have 13 quarters until the next election, so I gotta do something good, and I gotta do it fast. Actually, all I gotta do is talk to the press, and, uh... Is the opposition trustworthy? Yes. <laughs> no, 28%. Okay, so the opposition... They believe in the opposition. The unemployment rate is getting better. I take it that our small business subsidies have somewhat helped, in a way. So that's good. Okay, so our approval rating sits currently at 39%. <laughs> 39%. Woo. Woo. All right, so what I want to do is I'm still looking for the minimum wage. Now, this has worked for me because I, I did a, a preview. So raising the minimum wage, pretty much the way that this works, at least in this game, if you raise the minimum wage, and as I, as I think it would work in real life, Raising the minimum wage means that people have more money, meaning that more than likely people are going to spend more money, meaning that now there's also more income to be taxed, as well as more income to be spent, which increases our GDP. So, there. That's my explanation for that. Didn't get too political, hopefully, but hey. Alright, here we go. It's now 2019. Alright, so, I haven't really touched anything else, necessarily. I don't really think I'm going to yet. The debt to GDP ratio is now rated could be better previously from not good. So, as okay, as I said, that immediate rise of the minimum wage automatically helped out our GDP per capita, increased our, uh, what is this? Our GDP cap per capita was kind of stagnant at 57,000. And that, just that small increase, because I think we only increased it by like, what, 50 cent or something like that? That small increase bumped us up to $65,000 per capita. So now an economic growth is now at 6%. The amount of debt of this country is not tolerable. I mean, hey, I'm trying. Give me a second, all right? I changed the minimum wage. I don't think that in reality, though, that that small change would, in, would automatically set us up for a $50 billion surplus, but here we are. <laughs> but here we are. Let me see that, actually. Government spending... Okay, so taxes... Hold on. I need to check this. There's a 
Frick, that's spending. I can't really see. Taxes. So income tax is now up to 400 and... $475 billion. Corporate tax rate was increased to 45%. And property tax... Hmm. I don't really know what I want to do with property tax. I kind of probably want to keep it the same because in this game, if you increase the property tax to like 2%, it's a total increase of 100%. So, I mean, there isn't like a certain, like, like... If, if that that would be some extra income but I don't really think we need to mess with the property tax for right now I think we're I think we're good I think I didn't really want to increase income tax necessarily it's not there there's no brackets in this game so an increase is just an increase on everybody which is something that I don't really like but I'm gonna increase it to 36 percent so that's kind of small because of the we just had a, like a big boom of economic growth the minimum minimum working age I'm not gonna mess with that we increased it from seven actually it was like a 70% increase I think we're gonna try and at the very least let's let's get it to 850 I'm trying to kind of move it up a little slow but at the same time fast enough that it's making a difference so let's see the crime rate actually is it, is it falling 4,212 slowly I mean Actually, that was that was even before we took office. <laughs> when we took office, it was like 331, so it is falling. I think let's increase our security spending again, because at at this moment we we have insufficient spending with security. Um, I think that it can be said though that uh, with this, right now, our increase is only temporary. You know, it's not going to be like a sustained thing. Once we kind of solve the crime issues in this game, you can kind of cut back because people don't really care anymore. It's just kind of like, hey, crime solved, all right? I can decrease spending. So if we ultimately go up to like $50 billion or more to keep up with crime, we can always cut back once we actually solve the issue. So let's go to the next quarter. Right, so what do I want to tackle next in this quarter? I don't really know. Let's see. You say the government has weakness, 68% say yes, 23% say no, 10% say I don't know. Those numbers don't necessarily add up, do they? Did some people just not vote? Hmm. Okay. Whatever. GDP per capita now improving for 18 months. My, my approval rating fell <laughs> 4% to 32%. God dang it. GDP per capita went up again to 69000 because we increased the minimum wage. Uh, GDP is up to 22 billion dollars. <clears throat> Sorry, we have a surplus of 1.29 billion dollars, which are still like for some reason our our debt is still going up. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna try and fix my approval rating for right now. <laughs> We're gonna give interviews and do public talks. I don't know what public stunt is. I don't know what that's supposed to do. I don't really care for politicians doing public stunts or whatever that is so we're almost already there to the debt to GDP ratio so that's good um, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna try and keep up with the military to see like where we stand with in terms of other countries I don't want us to I want us to be the strongest but like not too overwhelming so of course let me go through and see a country like Russia Russia, I think, is the second strongest military in this game. Russia stands at 1621. Uh, let's check China. I think China... I don't know. Is China stronger than Russia in this game? No. Slightly smaller. So Russia, China... Uh, let's check our real-life uh, possible war person. War, did they say per... What the frick am I talking about now? North Korea. North Korea is very disrespected in this game, okay? This is a very serious issue. North Korea's military strength is 129. So in this game, if I just wanted to go and take over North Korea, I could do it, and I could do it in a quarter, and it'd be over, right? It'd be over in, like, <laughs> be over in a month. But I'm not going to war with North Korea. I don't really care for it. As long as we keep our military strength where it is, I don't really think anybody's going to care. <laughs> so I think I want it. Where do I want to put money? Social Security, we're at just enough, adequate, adequate, non-existent. So, 
We'll keep that for where it is right now. I want to do... Where are we lacking? We're definitely lacking in energy, right? Long distance... Long distance heating. Petrol station network. This is gas stations. We have much more than needed. So we'll bring that down to like five. Yeah, that'll work. And then we'll increase this since it's in completely insufficient. We'll increase this all the Well, not all the way because I can't afford to do that now. All right. Oh. I think that's about it. <laughs> Is there something else that I want to do? I'd say we could probably do a little bit of increase education, maybe? Or transport. I forgot. Like, our freaking railways or something were, like, super bad. Just enough. Good. Streets are adequate. We'll slightly increase our spending on infrastructure slash transport. Increase it to, like, I can't actually move this now because the changes are too much. Okay. Well, in the quarter. Alright, running simulation. Where are we at now? Where do we stand? I've cut back. I've reached the goal of getting our debt to GDP ratio of less than 60%. Thank God. Alright, so we're now... Actually, this is still at 60. <laughs> Alright, so a rare insight into how our government does its work. Because we gave our, like... Excuse you? <laughs> we gave our approval ratings slash things. So our approval rating is up to 36%. Jesus. Really? <laughs> approval rating is only 36%. Uh boy, oh boy, oh boy, 14.135 in terms of our debt, oh boy, let us try and do some more increased spending in terms of our security, let's, what, what should we, completely insufficient police, let's do this, 16 billion, we'll increase that spending, pretty much double it, I think that'll work, and then we'll increase security spending to... Maybe 57? Jesus, co total current spending was 40? Alright, so, we'll increase it to 52. In court, I'm sorry if you can hear my stomach growling. I haven't eaten today. <laughs> I apologize. So, where do we stand now? We describe the work of the government as good. 32% will say yes, 47% will say no. Alright, the government can't protect you from crime anymore. Listen, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm doing my best, alright? Interest rates are falling. Population growth is somewhat falling. I don't know why. Ugh. I got a, I got eight quarters to try and fix my reputation. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's do public relations again. Because I need to do something. To keep myself in power. Otherwise, I'm going to lose this. Let's increase the minimum wage again. Uh... I think right now, laws. Nothing. I'm going to increase our small business subsidies again as well, up to 8%. I think that'll work well for now. We're, we got 11 points left that I could do something with. Uh, government spending. Let's increase our security spending again up to $60 billion, And I think that'll work. And then I'll increase spending here to $16 billion. All right. That way we can try and work on the crime situation so that people can feel a little bit safer and maybe vote me back into office. <laughs> crime rate looks best since 30 months. Thank God. Now my approval rating went up just because of whatever. Alright, so press. We didn't really do any public relations last time, did we? Estimated effectivity, 20%. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to solve crime. Let me solve crime. Statistics and data. Crime rate is now down. Uh, let's see. Where do we stand in terms of our... We have a $140 billion surplus. Alright. Uh, let's... Let's throw it all into security again. Let's do... Police completely insufficient. Where are we standing? 16, 26, 22. Much more than needed. We'll cut this down to... Uh, 15 billion. And then we'll move this up to... 25 billion. All right, we'll kind of re re-diversify this a little bit, and then increase this to 32, maybe. Or we'll do enough for 25 percent. Well, that's 28, but hey, whatever. All right, let's do it. See how this works. May or may not work too well, but hey, I'm trying at the very least. 
Would you re-elect the government? No, 47%, 32 say yes. Was the government doing shadow economy not approving at all? My approval rating fell. Did perform any PR activities? No, I did not. I did not. I definitely did not. All right. So, government spending. Oh, boy. We got six quarters to try and win this election. And I don't think I'm going to win it now. <laughs> I don't think I can win it. 50% estimated effectivity. Uh, where am I at right now? 32%. <laughs> yeah. I may have tried to do too much a little bit too fast, I think. Uh, let's see. Transport, adequate, adequate. Let's increase our transport budget again. Or no, let's increase... I've been trying to increase my budget here for security and everything just to try and at least do something about crime for at least in this election cycle but eh it's not working out too well now is it <laughs> so let's see environmental destruction I mean I didn't really do any of that I don't know how that happened that just randomly happened all right good news public health is getting better my population corruption rate is falling Economic growth kind of fell off a little bit. The crime rate fell by 6% in one quarter. Uh, let's try and do our press relations again. It would help us, so let's do that. We'll do both and see what we can get out of this. Ugh. Debt is at $14 billion, so it increased, but it has fallen down from its highest uh, or, or when we were here. So <laughs> it increased for a good bit, and then it fell off again. So... Unemployment rate is at 4.14, so it's falling as well, so that's good too. Um, let's see. I want to... Hmm. Where do I want to put money into? We've definitely done a good deal with crime. I think we'll... Right now, I'm going to put some more into energy, maybe. Or no, waste and supply. I think we should increase our budget here to like... 36 billion because I think this is where we were looking at or actually I never looked at this <laughs> recycling so environmental protection so since we've already done so much let's just try and let's just try and help out the environment as much as we can for right now okay let's do this another simulation I'm gonna try and at least probably get to the end of my first term in this there are no term limits in this so I don't really have any fear of necessarily like like not uh, being able to finish there's no term limits so corruption crime is falling by 4% I mean that's pretty good per quarter so poor rating went up 11% to 43% because we did our public uh, relations and things education has been steadily falling we need to where are we standing in terms of our we still have 123 billion dollars surplus so Let's put some money back into our education system. Primary schools, secondary schools, higher education. Uh, let's increase higher education to, I think, 15 billion will be good for the, a quarter. We'll increase primary schools to uh, maybe 38 billion. I'm kind of not keeping track of how much this is, but considering our, our surplus, I don't really think I need to worry about it necessarily. Um, I'm gonna do a sl let's see police uh, we still haven't solved this yet 35 insufficient insufficient this is still more than needed so we'll cut back here cut back to 14 billion all right there 42 percent where will we stand with the press public relations I can't really do any of that I have four more quarters until the next election Oh boy, this one might be close. It might be tight. I might not win re-election. <laughs> okay. Okay, that somewhat stemmed the decline that we had. Corruption rate now improving for 39 months. My proof rating went up on its own to 46%. So that's good. I need at least 50% to win the election. Which is in three turns. So, let's do whatever we can with the press and public relations to try and try and boost this up to to 50 percent i think i'm just gonna barely squeak through <laughs> just barely squeak through on the election election night <laughs> so let's see let's check where russia and all these other countries are so we're at 1808 we've been increasing so 
Rush is at 1679. They, I don't think they moved that much. So, yeah, we're good. Government spending, I think we'll put a little bit more into our pensions, maybe. Let's let's increase pensions to 234. Alright. And that'll work. I think that'll work. I did start this on difficult, didn't I? I hope I did. I thought I'd, I did. I'll have to make sure after this recording session, but... Alright, let's see. Where do we stand now? I didn't do too much that quarter. I probably should have done more. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? You say the government has weaknesses? Yes, no. We're doing better then. 44% to 39%. Mortality rate is very good. Corruption rate is now very good as well. Global headlines, no easy fix for the economy. Our approval rating jumped to 56% now. Well, look at us. Look at us. We can win the election. <laughs> we can do this, boys. Now, one thing that I want to implement to try and get rid of the debt a little bit faster is quantitative easing. Instructs the central bank to buy up government bonds, which should lower interest rates on bonds. High public debt can be handled more easily. Um, right now, economic growth is kind of low, but eh, you know. I want to do that. And, oh, I forgot I don't have enough points for that. How much would the nuclear phase out be? Because I want that. All right. That way we can get more clean energy in here. That would be 10 points. All right. So I'll do this and I'll do 5%. All right. Nuclear phase out. Let's do it. All right. Where else can I put money into? Crime is now going down. Statistics. Let's see. Crime is now down to 3,140. So it fell off. It's falling at like 100 and something per quarter, I think. So let's put a little bit more. Prisons, just enough. Police, insufficient. I'm going to get this to just enough, I think. And then that should really help us out there. Come election time. Of course, we're not just doing this for elections. We're doing this for the sake of our country. For God and country. Do we describe the work of the government as good? 59% would say yes. 28% would say no. 12% don't know. Alright. Environmental destruction looks best since 45 months now. So... I mean, hey, we don't even have to do any PR. The, the faded, the, not fate, the, the country's doing so well now that we don't really need to do much of that anymore. Budget for bikeways is completely insufficient. This is really cheap, so I'm going to go ahead and approve this. We'll increase spending here. Jesus, I can't even do it that much. We'll increase, wait, what? Did I decrease spending? I didn't mean to decrease it. This is such a small little thing that it's kind of hard to see what you're doing. All right, there. We increase that a little bit. Airport's good. Streets are good. Well, streets are adequate. Let's increase our streets to 36 billion. That'll work. Uh, we're still maintaining a surplus, so that's good. Next quarter is the election, I believe. Yes. All right. The election time has come around. Let's see what's in store for us. So, we won with 62% of the vote. The government, just because it's the government. I don't know what the opposition is. So, we won with 62.5%. The opposition had 26%. Others, 3 point something. And then, 7% didn't vote. So, we won the election. And, after our first term, or what was it, 4 years? 4 years? We've done pretty good, I think, over the course of the past 4 years. Uh, things are getting a lot better. Things are getting a lot better. So, I'm going to end it here, guys, and I will see you in the next one.